Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be the seventh episode of the Chelsea Career Mode. And with FIFA 23 fastly approaching this, I don't know how many episodes of the Career Mode we're going to get out. Obviously this is, I'm filming this on Tuesday the 27th. So, um, obviously I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to start the Aberdeen Career Mode on the, the Saturday the 1st of October. And that way I've got a few days to as, upload as much, upload and try and finish the FIFA 22 Chelsea Crew Mode. But if I can't finish it, unfortunately I can't finish it. So we are going, well if I can't finish it, oh, that should just quickly fix that, there we go. Um, if I can't finish the Crew Mode in time before FIFA 23 comes out, then we're just going to have to forget. It. But hopefully I can finish it because I'll do quite a bit in this episode. So we're going to be playing against Dynamo Zagreb in the Champions League. But we're going to be quick some in the game. Because it's a game which we should be winning. But we're going to make a few adjustments to the team. And we're going to bring Mount into the squad. We're going to bring Cucarella into the squad. And we're also going to bring in... Let's bring in Wesley Fofana for a change. Let's chuck Wesley Fofana in the squad. Give him a Champions League debut. And see what he can do. So that's the team that we're going to go with. Let's quick sim against Animal Zagreb. And it's okay. It's a 2-2 draw. That's not too good. I believe we were top of the group. So, we're on 13 points now. So which means I don't think AC Milan can overtake us. But hopefully, I, I don't think they can overtake us. But hopefully they can. Well, that's actually, uh, well they just, we've just got given 27 mil. So, we're definitely through to the um, next round. We're definitely through to the, um, what's the name? Knockouts. I couldn't get the word in my head. So we've now got a game against Leeds, which we're going to quick sim because it's like another, it's like the Daniel Zagre game. It's a game which we should be winning, and it's not really a game I need to worry about playing. We'll make a, a couple more adjustments. We'll play uh, Dennis Zakaria, Connor Gallagher, um, Pulisic, and I think that's what we'll do. We'll only adjust that. So that's what we'll do. We're going to quick sim against Leeds, and it's a one-one draw. That's not good. We are currently top of the league, if you did not see. So, um, it's, it's vital to keep on winning. We are now playing Everton, which is a game I'm going to play. Uh, I should know we're, they're 16. If it was an away game, I was going to play it. But because we're at home, I like, it's a game which I should be winning. Um, I'll just keep, we'll put the best team out. We'll quick sim. It's a 3 2 win. Uh, just about got there. But three points is three points. Next game, regardless of we're playing, I will play it just because you know after two quick sims, I kind of want to get playing. Uh, Pulisic wants to is um, saying I need more games. I will play him against Wolves. We'll be nice, then we'll play him against Wolves. I played away to Wolves, away against Wolves at the Molyneux. It's always a tough place to go at the Molyneux. So we are going to start Pulisic. We're also going to start. Um, Aspel Quetta because Silva's not particularly fully fit. Also going to play Conor Gallagher and Mason Mount because a few of the players aren't 100% fitness. Um, Havertz got up to 87. Havertz is very quickly going. Oh, 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 I don't know what that was. Um, we're def he's definitely quickly growing. Hab Kai Havertz, and uh, it's very good to see that um, he's up to 87. So have a look at this uh, Wolves team. They've got a left wing at striker. So, as you know, they've got a right wing at striker, a, a left wing at right wing, and a striker at left wing. So, that's interesting. But we're going to go with the squad that I've put out, and we're going to hope, hopefully, get a victory. Um, we may get beat, we may lose. Let's see what happens. Full sitch. And maybe let's try to go for a nice speed. Actually, we're not going to get an early victory. Our early goal, sorry. Chilwell puts it out for the corner. Let's see what maybe Wolves could do in this situation. Trincao. And we change will get that away. Bamiang. Back to Havertz. Oh, hungry chance done. Very well there to win the ball of Havertz. Try to turn it and then play a ball across. Trincao shoots. Saved by Mendy. Chilwell can play that into Kante, Kante, lost possession there against Golovin, Golovin, how do you pronounce his name? Apologies if there's any um, issues with like quality, um, I've got a bit of an internet problem so there might be, I've, I can still connect to the Wi-Fi and all that, but 
and to, like for some reason the, the connection like the quality of the stuff is a bit poor so um hopefully it's not too bad but if it's bad then i do apologize can't see plays that into gallagher see what bamiang can do here bamiang that's kind of poor from pierre mcabamiang so yeah i did um find a way to edit oh i have to say from mendy i did actually find a way to edit my um um, last episode I found out the way and obviously you'll, you'll know from watching it that everything was timed perfectly and it was all good but they've actually found a way which is easier and that's actually probably one of the reasons why there could be a um, well I do have a, a little bit of an internet problem but um, but I think one of the reasons there could be another reason that the quality could be a bit poor what is because um, the way I'm like filming the gameplay so if and then so it means that I can't um I don't need to uh, like stop recording my phone like because obviously my phone's showing me a hammer is in here and couldn't get the ball so that means that I um by from hearing it I don't know if you guys can hear it but um from hearing the gameplay it sounds a little bit poor um so if it is poor I do apologize drink out it's poor all oh, Mendy's came out there, Mendy's came far out and they find me chance can give him an open goal to score in and he scored. Trim cows in. Kante trying to win the ball. Kante does brilliantly. Wins the ball back and there pulls it and go for a little run. Let's see if we can get an equalizer. Oh it could have gone through to Bamiang but Golovin does intercept Trincao that's a shot many saves so oh oh god Wang Lee Chan's been given another open goal to score in and he's so he scored two goals from open right from get, being given an open goal why isn't Bamiang making a run it would, it would have helped if Bamiang made a run through there and now we are 2-0 down uh, that's, his, that's how Wang Lee Chan's fifth goal of the season um, it's a bit unfortunate. It's really unfortunate because Mendy's made the save, and Huang Mi Chan thing looks like we've given an open goal. So there's no one really at fault there for that goal, but you've got to forget it. Try and get a goal back. It's a lovely ball over the top for Mason Mount. Hit it on the volley. Forced Sarkic into a big save. I'm surprised because Sar's not there, so it might be a bit easier to score. Havertz he went for the I tried to go for the overhead kick but it didn't actually work Mount shot's been blocked by Golovin ok I don't know how Chilwell's not got the ball there now Trincao using his pace is running down the right hand side Kante is catching up to him Kante's doing well but Mendy can collect it no need to go into the ground but he's gone onto the ground for some reason Pulisic, Chilwell, back to Pulisic to Chilwell but Podet has done it nicely to win the, won, won the ball back and um, that's Aubameyang and Pulisic playing good football there, Havertz shoots, uh, sh uh, playing to Gallagher who shoots but the shot was blocked and looks like Newcastle have took the lead against Man City which is quite good, I think it, it said it was Chris Wood who has put Newcastle ahead and that's Luqueta has put the ball out for a corner you know being 2-0 down it's not not really that good if I'm being honest Gallagher does get it away Trinko that's dead play through ball well that is the half time whistle and it's I've been a poor first half City have just equalised um, and Aubameyang's gone up to an 80, Aubameyang's gone really like up and down 85, 84. Um, but I think we're going to have to make a change and it's going to have to be Sterling coming on. And I'm also going to bring on uh, Cucurella. Because they're two players who I feel like can definitely um, maybe cause an upset. Uh, well, not really cause an upset, but can get back into get us back into the game. So we're 2-0 down, so we're going to... We're gonna need to pull. We're gonna have to score three goals to win. And we're gonna have to pull two goals back to get it to level terms. But hopefully, we can do that. 
as Mount has been dispossessed by Marco, by Mee Chan, who scored both the goals. Let's let the ball work for a throw in. Neves. Decent ball out. That's such a very good ball out wide to Semedo. Cucurella couldn't get it. But Mendy has collected it. I don't know why the referee couldn't just play on there. There was a foul on, on Mendy, but Mendy had the ball in his hands and he just slowed the game down. A lovely ball into Abamyang, but Connor Cody will win it back for Wolves. There's been so many opportunities where I've been playing the ball over the top, but the defenders have just won it, the ball. And if that continues to happen, we will not be able to get a goal back in this game. As Cucurella can win the ball, but it's actually come off Semedo. But thankfully it's gone into the gloves of Mendy. Which means Havertz can now drive into Mount. They chip it through to Havertz. That's a lovely ball. Into Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz shoots. And he's missed. Kai Havertz has just missed that chance. And... Um, I don't really know what to say. He should be scoring that. Like He actually should be scoring that. That ball should be in the back of the net. And the ball is not in the back of the net. It's... I don't know how Samir has kept that in, but he's kept that in. It, it's not in the back of the net. It's... Well, it's gone out for a... It's gone out for throwing. And now... Uh, a goal kick. And now Kante's won the ball back. Which means... Someone get like a nice wee run from Mount. Mason Mount has ran straight into Connor Cody. Who's easily took the ball off him. And once again, Wolves are on the attack. But Reese James can't intercept. Mount to Havertz. Havertz has been scoring so many goals recently. Obviously, you saw the goal he scored against AC Milan. Mount's in. Mason Mount. Cuts back. On his left foot. It's gone in. We skipped the replay. We don't care what happens. Mason Mount's got us a goal back. The keeper saved it in for the goal. But it doesn't matter. Goal's a goal and we're back in the game. See what Havertz can do. Kai Havertz has lost the ball to Connor Cody. But at least we've got a goal back. But it'd be really disappointing for Wolves to get a third and just dampen our spirits. And now Abamian is in. But Totti has. He, it's just literally. He, the ball's behind him and he just took it, put it away. And now we're on the attack again. Abamian. Plays it into Mason Mount, that's a good ball. Totti, he's been, I might have to look at signing him. I will actually, I might not have to because it's only going to be a one season career mode. But, Totti's been doing fantastic in this game. I don't, uh, is that a foul for Wolves or Chelsea? Yeah, it's a foul for Chelsea, we had the advantage, we had the ball, just let the game go on ref. Gallagher, that's a lovely pass. But Aubameyang can't just... This has been really poor and really unlucky at the same time. The Wolves have been defending fantastically. Cucurella has done really to win the ball back. Havertz into Mount. Mount still got it here. Havertz shoots. I think Havertz was fouled, so the ball's obviously bounced up and he had, you know, lost my balance there. And Havertz has hit it wide. And I'm not, not just for that, but I feel like I need to take Havertz off. And we're going to bring on, um, I guess let's bring on Kovacic, even though he's not really a cent, even though he's not really a cam. Um, we're also going to bring on Broja. Uh, I'm out of subs, so I think, actually, you know, the only, I'm going to leave Havertz on, and we're going to bring on Dembele for, um, we'll put, let's put Dembele at cam, and then we'll put Dembele up here, we'll put him as a right forward. So, that's just what we're doing, we're going to go all in to try and get an equaliser or maybe get a, a quick equaliser and then try and get a winner but as long as we can get a, at least a point out of this game it's all that matters and Sterling has won the ball plays that into Dembele who tries to chip it in to Bamiang but Totti once again but Gallagher's won it back Sterling didn't make the run but thankfully it still gets to him Haver and uh, Bamiang Kante hits the shot it's a save from Sarkic it's just too, it's impossible to, to score. It feels like it's impossible to get this equaliser. It's a back post. It's actually called the bar. Aspilicueta has just headed it onto the bar. That, that would have been, as soon as the ball, that was a brilliant, brilliant cross from, um, what's his name, Sterling. But the header literally came off the bar and now it's a chance. 
for Wolves. And it's gone in. I don't see any way back. I don't see any way getting an equaliser now. Wolves have just scored a third. Unless Mount can score here. No, no he can't. Connor Carter has come on and has scored a third goal. Which probably has sealed the deal for Wolves. But Mount's going to stick it in. Bamian could get the header. But no. I don't. I think that's it over. I genuinely do think that's it. We could have. Oh, that's got to go over. We easily could have won this game. But we gave away two goals in the first half. The second goal was no one's at fault. Mehdi's made a good save. And unfortunately, Wang Yi Chab was in the right place at the right time with an open goal in front of him. But the first goal was poor. Should have, better, should have defended it properly. I should have defended it better. Oh, they're going to get a fourth here. They've actually got a fourth. 4-1 to Wolves. Carte has scored again. And that's it. That is a horrible way to lose. And Totti's just blow the whistle, Red. Just blow the whistle. I swear, if they make it five, all right, they've not. 4-1 defeat. That that just stings. That really stings. Easily, we'll do a post match interview, but that easily could have. Okay, we're playing Villa next, and they just got beat by Bournemouth, so that's kind of a decent sign. Just a couple of questions. Well, um, I guess that that's us getting beat for the first time in a while. Uh, Wolves are just better than us on the day. Um, one of our, I mean, um, I don't know how many losses that might be our second loss of the season. Because I know we lost that. So, oh, jeez. I'll give them these a little bounce. Also, we did lose to, was it Villa 5 3? At that, okay, City are now top of the league. But we are now playing Villa. And it's a game which kind of needs to win to get our, our momentum back. Um, got a fully fit squad. Let's go straight into it with the best team we've got. Let's try and get a win and just not, I guess, just not lose. That's all we've got to do. Just not lose and just win. Very tough place to come to Villa Park. It's always a tough challenge and a great stadium. So hopefully you can overcome the challenge. I probably should have worn the uh, way kit because it's Obviously, they've got a, a claret blue, but it's a bit of a kick clash, but not too bad. I can still tell who's a Chelsea player and who's a Villa player. Maybe, I mean, if we get beat today, it could be a start of a bad. It could be the start of a bad form. And what's a cracking save? Uh, the start of a bad run is what I was trying to say. But that was a cracking save from Mendy to deny Aston Villa getting a first, getting the first goal in the game. But this man Bell is beautifully. Won the ball off, I believe. I can't remember who it was. Douglas Sui, I think it was. But unfortunately, uh, the pass to Sterling wasn't good enough. But he's on down belly. Has now is now on the ball, but he's actually hit it straight at Martinez. So take the throw, ping that out wide to Chilwell. Lovely little touch, flick across his body. Batman plays that into Kovacic. Plays out wide to Dembele. We are the top scoring team in the Premier League. We have scored 41 goals in 18 games, which is very good to see. Hopefully we can add to that 41 today. That's a lovely ball to Martinez. And they've got a chance if oh, they've hit the bar. Jeezy Pete, that was close. And there Coutinho's won the ball off. Sterling. Again. And Gerald yeah, Silva has done quite well. Let's see what Sterling can do. He's got the pace to beat Douglas Louise. He's driving into space. Into Aubameyang. With his left foot. Oh, I forgot. We've got Martinez in goal. And it will be a corner. Martinez is literally so good on FIFA. He's actually so hard to score against. But we've got a corner. It's a good ball. But it's cleared away. Can't say that's a poor header. He's hit it straight to Watkins. Sanson's running on that left-hand side. His man Dembele surely got more pace than him to catch up. But this has not been the best of starts. As West Ham took the lead against Southampton, Jared Bowen scoring. Sanson's done well and 
Be James has put it out for a corner. It's not not been a good start. Aston Villa are on the front foot. The Bamiang. And st oh, that's got to be a booking. That'll be a booking. It was a very cynical challenge on Raheem Sterling. Took a lovely touch and it was just a cynical slide tackle on Sterling by, uh, by Matty Cash. Just have a decent opportunity there but lost the ball. Let's try and win the ball back and get a counter attack. Matty Cash, Coutinho. And he's run out of play which is good for us. Chilwell plays that to Sterling. Oh, that's a lovely little step over. Raheem Sterling driving in the middle. Haberts. Go for the left foot finesse shot. Straight at Martinez. Easily caught it, but Martinez hit it straight to Haberts. Then Billy to Abamyang. Abamyang shoots. Oh, it's at the oh my god, it's at the post. That was a brilliant strike from Abamyang on his left foot. But unfortunately, the ball didn't end up in the goal. It came off the post. That was definitely the best chance of the game. And, okay, you're right, they've got opportunity. I thought, oh my, I actually thought it came off competition's hand. But thankfully, it's not. And Aston will have another corner. That's uh, cleared away. And now Bamiyan can drive. That's another cynical channel challenge from John McGinn. Gee, Aston Villa are a bit dirty. Two cynical challenges. One on Sterling, one on Aubameyang. They're not on the fast players because they know how quick they are. Oh, Harris nearly played it into Aubameyang. Aubameyang with his left foot. Oh, he's hit the bar this time. He's hit the post and he's hit the bar with the same type of shot. That's a, oh, that's a decent effort. Made Martin his work. But Aubameyang has came so close once again. And Belly, it's a good ball in for Koulibaly, but Koulibaly's just not particularly connected with the ball and Thiago Sobbers tried to head it to Dembele but the ball has gone out of play. See can Aston Villa maybe start a wee attack here. Hopefully they can't and try and get the ball away, tackle them. Watkins has been tackled by Koulibaly. Tielemans has scored for Leicester against I didn't I couldn't actually tell you who it was against. Only saw it a brief glint, a brief, I always saw it briefly. Martinez. Let's see what can, what's going to happen here. That's poor. It's into the box, Mendy punches it away. Let's see, can Dembele get a goal here? He's using his pace. Dembele, ah, Chambers is, did it, it pad, tried to pass it a bit too late there, if I passed it a bit earlier it would have worked. And that is the half time whistle. It's been pretty disappointing really. It's against Man City last year playing. Um, I don't, I don't really need to make any changes so uh, let's get into the second half. Let's see what we can do, try and win this game because we do need to win this game to try and get back on the top of the table because if Leicester can beat Man City and we can beat Villa that means we are back to the top of the table and now is when Dembele can chip that in to Aubameyang but Mings does win it against Aubameyang and Aubameyang didn't really give any challenge towards it Kovacic intercepts Haberts into Aubameyang shoots Aubameyang and the shot was a bit late because I already pressed B but he turned and then uh, just a bit of a mistake bit of misjudgment and when to shoot for me but it was a decent opportunity and that's Thiago Silva who's run all the way up the pitch and has scored Thiago Silva oh my goodness that was absolutely insane he's ran if you obviously can see it he's ran the whole he's ran from center back I mean, he's ran from like the center circle and I've seen this run I've played him through and he's headed in look at him He's running. I'm pointing. Like, is it the screen? Obviously, you can't see the screen. I just can't see me pointing. Can't see the screen from this where I'm filming. But he's run through, and I've spotted his run. He's headed it. He's not even. He's not even looking towards the goal. 
and he's put it in the top he's put it in the top corner. That was I'm not gonna say it's a goal like a goal of the season. But if there was a award, if, if there's if there was an award for best goal best way to score from a best way to score from defence, a best run through and score, run through and then goal I don't even know what I'm saying. That would if run through and score, that's technically what I'm trying to make up here. That would definitely go through Thiago Silva because that was absolutely insane. If I'm going to ball it, but it's gone straight at Martinez. I might, I might, show, I don't, I might show a replay. I probably would show a replay. But if I do show a replay, then you get to see how brilliant it was because it was fantastic, absolutely fantastic from um, from Thiago Silva, and he can definitely be proud of that one. I, I, I don't even know. Do I, I, I'm keep talking about it, but because it was just fantastic the way he just ran through and did a beautiful header into the top corner but anyway it's a lovely ball out to Dembele Let's try and make it two Dembele has a decent ball but defended brilliantly from Aston Villa let's see what Villa can do here hopefully nothing that will threaten Mendy in goal and it will threaten Mendy in goal because McGinn has equalised that's actually a pretty nice Travella pass from Havertz. And now Dembele is running through them all. Who's man Dembele? Shoot, oh, it's because it I uh, pressed RT and he was like, moved it across because like, when you run like that, it can, like, the ball can run away from you. But now Aston Villa seems to be on the front foot and that's a tackle from Thiago Silva. So we're going to make some substitutions now. Uh, we're going to bring on Poole Sitch. He's gone up to an 84, which is quite good. Uh, see what Pulisic can do. We win us the game. Um, we've got to bring on, to bring on Gorilla. Um, any other person you could play? Uh, he's a left wing. He's left playing left wing back. I'm also bring on Gallagher to see if he can produce some last minute magic, or maybe just magic at any any time in the game, any time remaining in the game, to win us this one. And Mendy has came out and collected it. So now that's a that's a bit of a that's a poor ball to Dembele. Got Brighton at home next, which is a game which I can get out of the way with a quick sim. I, I, I think I can get away with that game with my quick sim. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, right. I, I accidentally pressed X when I tried to I tried, I, I tried to pass it with Kante, but I, um, my thumb lent on X and he fake shot it, but thankfully nothing too bad happened. Cucurella just hit it away. Cucurella put it out for a throw in, that's very good from him. Again, Watkins, Gallagher can put it away, and now we have an opportunity to attack Havertz is driving. Bamiang into Pulisic. Pulisic going to run through the middle. Pulisic cuts back. Bamiang, why is he that far back? Why is he not further up? Bamiang shoots, and thankfully the ball. We'll go back to Pulisic. Play into the box. It's a good ball for Habert. But Martinez does win it. And Kante. Oh, um, Dembele was running. But Kante passed it out. It was a nice pass. But unfortunately, because Dembele was already running, it was too late for him to get back and get the ball. But there's still there's still time to get a winning goal. There's definitely still time to get a winning goal. I think if whoever scores next, will probably it'll probably be the winning goal. But it's FIFA. I've seen I've seen it happen before. Oh, okay, I could say for Mendy. In real life, you could I could say something like that in this situation. But in FIFA, you can you, you can't really say things if you score in, in a late on situation. You could oh no, okay, I could say you could um, score and then that could be like in the 80th minute or and you could score that be a winning goal because it's FIFA. Anything can happen, like, especially against a computer and in career mode. But now it's time to get that winning goal. If, if we score, we try to push for a third and absolutely kill the game off. And now Dembele can chip that into Aubameyang. I don't think he's scoring really well, so maybe get a goal with him. Save from Martinez. And it's up. Oh my gosh, he was offside. Those he was offside. He, he scored, but he was offside. So that's a bit unfortunate. I think Aubameyang probably should have done better. Now Havertz, in the 86 minutes. So Havertz is gonna, we're gonna need to, if we're gonna, have, if we're gonna score a winner, we're gonna need to do it now. 
and Mengs gets it away and Gallagher can't win it against Ilsic so going into the 88th minute it'd be really disappointing to drop points in a game like with such high pressure but now Gallagher is offside is he offside oh he's offside no he's offside I don't know why I played it into the Millie Chimney he was offside I just played it in some anyway but we've got three minutes, that's a decent amount of time. It's a very good time, a good amount of time left to score. Coutinho might score here then, but Mendy does make sure that the ball stays out of the net. And then this is probably a lot, this is definitely our last chance. Pulisic, he's got 89 pace, he can use it. Bamiang, Bamiang, no, oh he's still got it, is he still got it? Still got it? Oh no, oh, that's it. A 1-1 draw at Villa Park. It's, it's, I'm really disappointed that we're dropping points there, but I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Leicester have won, which is good, so that means that we might be top of the league. We are, okay, we're not Liverpool ones, so Liverpool are top of the league. Uh, Speaking of Liverpool, we're playing them after Brighton. We're going to quick sim this game uh, against Brighton. We'll go for a fully, stra a fully strength squad, and it's, oh, it's another 1 1 draw. Wow. Okay then, that's another 1-1 one, one draw, so that's not particularly good. So we are moving into the January transfer window, so we're going to leave the episode there. Quick look at our youth report and it's, yeah, not, not great, not, not particularly great. So let's have a quick little check on the youth academy. Uh, actually, there's no, I thought it was something there, but there isn't. So I guess that'll be it for the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. And I shall see you guys soon for another video on my channel.